I'm Dane. I'm Mallory. And this is Drive Through Movie Review, and we just saw Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle must embark on a perilous journey to aid the ailing queen. It was not great. It was enjoyable <laughs> it was to me, and if probably small children also. It was mediocre. There were, I mean, there were bits and pieces I liked, but ultimately the movie was just forgettable. Oh, deeply forgettable. Oh my. I really felt like this was not Robert Downey Jr.'s return to to other films outside of Marvel. Saving Grace to me were the voice actors. Yeah, I think like were really yeah, funny. those are the little bits that I liked. Where it was the uh, voice actors, they had some kind of funny moments and lines, but mm -hmm. yeah, it just ultimately it didn't come together. It felt like none of the characters cared about the stakes of this movie, mm -hmm. and they were just lollygagging along through everything. Which could be a commentary on, you know, depression and the loss of a loved one. I don't think, I don't it, think was, it was. No. But not, no, like, yeah, there was just a lot it was just a lot of odd decisions. Like I understand they're trying to copy from the book to where Doolittle speaks to the animals in in their language. Mm -hmm. and that's he learned how to do that and that's how that he was, does it. That was so you're kind of wa though. yeah, you're watching it and you're like, <laughs> like uh, you could have done something different. Mm -hmm. Like it's an odd visual to watch. Yeah. Works for books, not quite for movies. It but was very much a child's movie. Yeah. I mean, the villains were overblown mm -hmm. villains. I mean, it's a kid's movie. And yeah. I think kids will enjoy it because there's talking animals so. and there's overly emotional villains. I mean. Yeah. Kids will enjoy it. You might not. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's not. It's not quite. It's not. It's not <clears throat> not good enough or not bad enough to me. So it's just kind of a three. Until next time.